TitleMatchNetwork.com. But there are guys, maybe office guys or low-level guys on the roster, even high-level guys on the roster, who have trouble getting girls on their own who you know, like, oh, fuck, I know I got to save one for this guy tonight. Um, no, 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 no. We no. never went, I never went that where I got to save somebody for somebody. No, if, if I, I was... I was getting a big ego at the time, in a sense, with the chicks. Not really with being the wrestler and walking around going, I got to have my private dress room or I got to have this, or this that, the other thing. I would never work for perks that way. But my perk was, yeah, I go to the bar, I pick up a chick. Um, if one of the boys bumped me and said, hey, kid, not only do you have to drive, you know, I drove. I was blessed. I, it was tagging with Marcus. I trained and traveled, played golf with, partied with, hung out with Lex and Sting. Because Lex and Sting were friends, Marcus and Sting were friends. I got put into put the our little four horsemen group, if you want to call it that, by pure chance. Because I had no one else to travel with at the time, and so I got to travel with those cats. And so there was a lot of times, and you can you can draw your own conclusions to this, where the guys I was traveling with, and it could have been the Steiner brothers, it could have been the Giant, it could have been you know Savage, it could have been somebody else who that was with us or whatever at the time. When I was driving, it'd be, kid, I want a blonde tonight. All right? We'll get a, I'll get you a blonde. You know, so boom, we get back to the hotel. I'll snag a blonde. I'll start talking to her. I'm like, hey, you want to do me next time we're here? You got to go do, you know, A. You got to go do B. You got, you know, I'll just throw, you got to go do Lex. You got to go do Sting. You got to go do Marcus. You got to go do Arm. You got to go do Sullivan. You got all the upper guys. And that was my, that was my thing. I was a kid. So that's what my, that was my you think my they thing. Respected you for that? I don't think they respected me, but they I sure got me more matches. or got me more wins. It got me like it got me heat with Terry Taylor because I wasn't thrown in his direction. Yeah, I got you. And I think I was getting. I think some of the guys. I used to walk into main event fitness um, at a TV taping, and Kevin Sullivan would be in there working out. I walk up to Kevin. I give him two perks. Two perks set. Right. Hey, Kev, have a good workout, buddy. Really, you son of a bitch. Next thing you know, I'm walking in Saturday night. I'm getting a win. <laughs> I walk in on the board. <laughs> I started giving Kevin perks. <laughs> hey, Kevin, how you doing, buddy? And I got me a little win streak going. So I was giving Kevin a couple of perks. But that was the thing. It was either perks with a couple of pills to make somebody's aches and pains go away, which is not a big deal. I mean, it's not like I'm a, giving a, a hundred pills a, a day or something like that. So I'm not a drug dealer. I'm just giving a friend, you know, make sure everybody don't hurt. Get a good workout in. Perks are a great thing to work out on. Um... But, I mean, it was just, it was a thing. I was the kid. I had to drive. I got more heat one time. Lex Sting and Marcus and I played golf in Tampa. No, we were in Orlando, and we had to drive to Tampa. And uh, we played golf that morning and got a workout in, got changed, and we're driving, or supposed to drive through town. I get in the back seat because I had not driven. I was just really green. I had not driven from Tampa to Orlando, not once in my life yet. So I had no clue how to get there. I'm thinking one of these other guys will drive. I get in the back seat. Marcus gets in the back seat. Lex gets in the front. Sting gets in the driver's seat and is pissed. But not saying a word. And that's how I know he's pissed. Because usually he's talkative. He's sitting there and he's driving. Get to the building. About 30 minutes after catering, Arn Anderson grabs me. What the fuck is your problem, kid? What do you mean? Arne? You're traveling with Lex Luger and Sting and you make them drive? You're out of your fucking mind. And le- and here goes a guy who once gave me the greatest pep talk in the world about leaving and, and come, will come back better. Right. To now, <laughs> he's blistering me for not driving like a rookie should. That night, boom, I had the car backed up to the damn door. Trunk open. Lexus Sting walk out. Fans everywhere. Here you go, boy. I grab their bags. Get in the backseat. Boom, I'm in the car and I'm driving. And we have to actually go find a uh, piano bar. That Nobbs is at that night. Nobbs and Sags are like, come to the piano bar in Tampa because they live in Tampa. We're gonna we're gonna party. We're gonna do this and that. And we're trying to find this thing. And we used to do this thing where, you know, you can actually hear us in the ring sometimes. It's zippy. It's zany. You know, it's wacky. It's kooky. This is nuts. You know, we'd be running around the ring calling this stuff to each other. You know, me, and Marcus, and Lex and Sting worked a match in Nitro, uh, in, in uh, Huntsville. And we were going, very good, very good, pal. And we were, you could hear a little bit of banter because we, you know, we actually traveled that day, wrestling each other, didn't know it until we got there, and just had a blast in the ring, more fun. I got actual goosebumps when Stinger's music hit because I'd never worked with Sting. 
and I'm in the ring. You can see me in the in the entrance. I'm I'm over at Nick Patrick going, look at the goosebumps when Sting's music hits, and that place erupted. You felt the energy. I mean, that's how amazing that new Stinger was. But we're we're actually driving, and we're all all four of us. We can't find this freaking bar, and I'm sitting there driving. And I'm like. It's saw that, but I'll tell you what, this is really fucking stupid, like that. And Stinger busts out laughing where he's crying. He's like, that is the exclamation point of everything that we've ever done. Because that was a shoot. You were, that was coming from the heart because this is stupid. And then we actually turned another, another thing and found it. <laughs> and, but, but that was that night. And the thing was that from that moment on, I drove. And that was the most over it was. It's because of our Again, that's how much I give credit so much to Arn in my life. You know, for little little things, it wasn't he never did anything huge because that wasn't his position. But he knew when what buttons to push and things with me that I just have that, you know, gratitude towards him for. Yeah. Well, let's just spend an hour to get ready to go to a titty bar. Really? <laughs> yeah. Marcus would be there spending forty five minutes. Me and Stinger would be like this on the couch. Well, you got. Fuck, you know, could we just get dressed, put on, boom, hair, boom, go. The only time I got Lex to go out with a hat head one time was December 20, it was, uh, the Nitro to Ireland 25th, but it was the week before, whatever, the 18th. We did the Nitro live, we did two tapings, or we did the Nitro live and one tape show. Me and Lex thought we were going to be on after the live show. So we're sitting there, they told us we were working, we were like first match on the show. All of a sudden, they run in and say, hey, we're, st- we're taping the first match in like 20 minutes. You guys need to be ready. Me and I said, what the fuck? You're you kidding. We thought we no, you're not. So we're sitting there, both with hats on the head like you got right now. And, you know, we're getting dressed. We're, we're putting some stuff together. And, and I said, Lex, dude, you got to do it. What? Let's go out there with a hat head. What? Come on, Lex. Let's do it, man. We ain't got time to do our hair. It'll take you forever to do your hair. We got to get... They're, they're yelling for us now. Like, like, all right, all right. So we both, if you can, look, if you look it up and look at the match, my hair is poofed out to the max, but it was in my hat. And Lex's hair is flat because of the hat. We went out there and wrestled each other, and I actually hit him before I'm goosed him right over the eye. But it aired on on just on Christmas. The match we did aired on Christmas, and we did a tape. So I was one of the few guys to ever get Lex to go out there and not be completely pretty. And that was real, real, like, that was months after we finally met. September is when we first met at that Nitro and knew each other. And he, I thought he hated me. I thought me and Lex were going to hate each other. Because we're eating, Johnny Bad, Alex Wright, myself, Marcus, and Stinger, and Lex were eating at the Marriott there in Minneapolis. And we're all eating, like, chicken and pasta. And I'm not a fast eater. Just never been. I'm eating there, and they're all like this, boom, boom, shoveling. Lex is like, what the fuck is your problem, kid? You need to pick up your pace and eat with us. I'm like, I don't even. If you're going to be with us, you're going to eat fat. And he starts just laying to me. You suck. You can't be with us. There's no way you can travel with us. And I'm sitting there going like this. I'm sweating, thinking, man, I've ruined it with Lex. You know, I don't even know the guy. It's the first time meeting him, and he's blistering me. About a half hour after we ate, Sting goes to me and goes, dude, you're fine. Lex likes you. If he didn't like you, he wouldn't be reaming your ass right now. And like I said, only a few months later, here we are working a match. And I give him the work a match a lot on TV where it's taped where it's hair and perfect. So that's how we did become friends after that in a short period of time. But I found out the way the way a lot of these guys like you is they will ream you, not to brutalize you, but ream you to, you know, make Kinda you like, pick up your pace a little bit. Uh, when you're at the strip club or at the hotel bar, well, you're all over the strip club, well, dude, aren't you? You're I, digging I, I, on this one. I gotta, you I gotta, want some juice, something juicier. I got another. Ju- when you get, if you ever get to the Nitro Girl question, can we get really juicy for you? TitleMatchNetwork.com.